Hey everyone, Eric Leamy here once again, um, coming to you, coming at you with another video uh, from my secondary YouTube channel, aka secondary YouTube vlog, which my sentimental thought, which I present to you the sentimental thoughts come from my heart and my soul, and my mental oddball shenanigans come from my mind and brain. This is EML 77 TV episode 756. Once again, July 25th, 2024, 33 p.m. And uh, in the wrestling world. A young niece of Rikishi has passed away, and um, so my condolences go and prayers go to the family of, Riki, of Rikishi's family and and friends of, and the Samoan dynasty. So rest in peace, Rikishi's niece. I don't know what happened, but uh, she passed away. According. But the big, the big, uh, the bigger news: another Hollywood um, death in Hollywood. A legendary, beloved TV host who has spent more hours in front of the camera than any other celebrity has passed away. Regis Philbin died at the age of 88. Star of Live when he co-starred with Kathy Lee and then later on Kelly Ripa. Regis Philbin was a wonderful soul on camera. He loves having fun. Um, he invited a lot of wrestlers to be on his show be on the show a couple times. He had Hulk Hogan, Ravishing Rick Rude, The Ultimate Warrior, Lex Luger. Um, he had, they had Sting on the show too. Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Undertaker, The Rock. I can go on. He had, he had Yoko Zuna on the show, Ravishing Rick Rude and Bobby the Brain Heenan, um, Diesel and Shawn Michaels. Uh, Regis Philbin is always having a lot of fun. I will never forget him complaining to Gelman. Gelman, it's out of control, Gelman! It's out of control! But to me, Regis Philbin was the quintessential TV host. Great personality. He loved everybody. Um, always had a funny story to tell. He talks about his family a lot. He likes to pick on his co-workers and everything else. And Regis was an all-around entertaining guy on the camera. He did Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and, you know, as a host and, you know, Million Dollar Password. Regis was a leg legendary TV host and he will be missed. And, um, I mean, I'll, I'll never forget um, all those times where Regis threw um, Teddy Bear, uh, Hulk Hogan Teddy Bear at The Undertaker during the Survivor uh, at the um, for the Survivor Series promo of the Greatest Challenge back in '91, I remember him trying to interview the Undertaker um, at WrestleMania Seven with Paul Bearer, which is you know weirdly, you know, oddly enough, I'm, I'm you know the Undertaker was measuring Regis, and uh, uh, I don't know, it was kind of a but either way, it's you know Regis Philbin was a legend in TV, on TV, and and he will be missed seriously. Um, I, I have no words, man. A lot of people loved Regis. A lot of fan, a lot of people loved him, and just always has a smile. And you know, a lot of celebrities are gonna miss Regis. And I'll tell you what, Regis Philbin, man. All I, want, all, I want, all I can say is thank you for your contributions to television and to, and, and to you've entertained millions of, of folks all over the world, all over here in this country, and you will be missed. And I just, you know, I'm very, very shocked that this even happened. And I'm, but um, you know, you want those. You, you've been a legendary celebrity on TV, TV personality for years, and you made a lot of friends, and a lot of people that loved you, and you will be missed. Um, my condolences to the Philbin family, Joy, um, I believe, I think JJ was one of his daughters, and you know you, you'll be missed, Regis. You'll be missed, Reg. I'll, I'll never forget you complained to Gelman. Always get on um, Gelman's case, which 
you know, that's one of my funniest moments, you know, watching live um, before work when I worked at Ruby Tuesday. A lot of things changed, obviously, since then, but, uh, you know, I know a lot of people are saying 2020 sucks, and uh, yeah, it does suck, but I know it sucks worse than that. Rob, now that Rob, now that Regis Philbin had did pass away, and um, I, I am really really saddened about that, and uh, I just got the, I, I just got wind of this few few minutes ago, so um, you know what can I say? You know. I know people have to go sometimes, and it is very tough to um, to accept a, a huge loss. You know, there's people that die way too young. There's people that die. Um, you know. You know. I mean, we can blame a lot of things on people and all that, and life's too short. I know what's been going on in our country has been very disheartening, to say the least. And um, all I can say is I'm very disappointed in a lot of people's attitudes and behavior, especially on the Internet. I mean, we have so many issues to worry about. And the last thing that you know, we would want to have is uh, you know, people misbehaving on the Internet and the animosity towards other people. Um... And um, to be uh, to be totally honest, I don't know how I feel about the whole thing. And just um, all I know is, you know, we just filmed did pass away. He was one of the most entertaining guys ever. And all I say is, Regis Philbin, you will be missed, sir. And I give you an old EML seventy seven TV salute and point. So we love you, love you, Regis. You're the man. Always will be. You're a very entertaining guy. Hollywood's gonna miss you. All the fans all over the world are gonna miss you. And I'm sure your family I and mean, your closest friends will miss you. I know a lot of your closest friends are now in heaven. I know you're probably joking around with Don Rickles up in heaven right now, or having your own talk show. I know you had a great banter and friendship with David Letterman as well. And, um, don't know what to say, man. You know. So, Regis Philbin, condolences and prayers go to your family. And to Joy Philbin, and I'm sure I can imagine how Kathy Lee and Kelly Ripper felt about this, because they work with him the most. So, um, shot, uh, there's another star added to the sky. And that star, his name is Regis Philbin. <sighs> rest in peace, Regis. And to the rest of you guys out there, I will see you on episode 757. Peace and love.